This video is about Shovel Knight King of Cards, the newest Shovel Knight DLC, which marks the fourth Shovel Knight campaign. Uh, I do recommend watching my last two videos first, covering Plague of Shadows and Spectre of Torment respectively. If you're all caught up though, let's just hop right in. So King of Cards is here and I've now had about a month to simmer on the game and play through it and uh, here's my thoughts so far. So I really liked Shovel Knight and its other two campaigns, Plague of Shadows and Spectre of Torment. They really built upon something great with its sort of retro revival movement in the original Shovel Knight that combines elements from Mario and DuckTales and all these old games and then building upon that platform, throwing something completely different, pulling like a 180 in playthrough style through Plague of Shadows, and then a unique brand new campaign for Spectre of Torment. These three campaigns, I think, were all brilliant uh, in their own way. Plague of Shadows built upon the groundwork laid by Shovel Knight, forcing you to approach these challenges in different ways. In Spectre of Torment, they completely remixed all of the levels, scrapped the overworld map entirely, and just trimmed out a bunch of the fat to make a wall-jumping happy, platforming adventure that is truly special, really something unique as well. So overall, I really like those three campaigns, and I couldn't wait for King of Cards to come out to see what Yacht Club would throw at us next. And I have to say, while King of Cards is good, I hate to be a downer, but I don't feel like it lives up to the previous two campaigns. It reintroduces the overworld map, I, I don't know, maybe some people were missing it, I thought it was fine without. But instead of remixing the levels or offering largely unchanged levels like the previous two campaigns, King of Cards offers a whole set of brand new unique levels on a slightly altered overworld map and trims each level down to what I would compare to removing the dungeons from Zelda and replacing them with the shrines of Breath of the Wild. Every level in Game of Cards is cut up into smaller segments, so you get these really bite-sized 5-10 to 10 minute levels instead of these long crunch gauntlet challenges that the previous campaigns had. While I think that makes for a more casual, friendly sort of playthrough of the game, um, and something really different from the previous campaigns. For me, it just doesn't do it. Every time I finish the level, there's just not as much a sense of gratification. I feel like King of Cards was on the verge of something great, but something is just lacking in my opinion. I'm not saying that is bad by any stretch. I, I've enjoyed it so far, but if you recall my previous videos, I said that the other Shovel Knight campaign's gameplay philosophies could all be narrowed down to a single phrase. OG Shovel Knight is down to precision and tricky platforming. Plague of Shadows gives you a bombastic, chaotic playthrough that centers around your adaptability to different challenges. And all of Spectre of Torment is based around fluidity of motion. But if you asked me to narrow down King of Cards gameplay philosophy in a phrase like that, joustice aside, don't worry more on that in a moment, I really don't know what I would tell you. I don't know how to define the central gameplay idea of this campaign, or if there even is one. King of Cards offers you a forward dash, then a sort of weird spin bounce technique that I'm not actually sure what to call that move. But the thing is, while the platforming challenges are quite unique because of this strange mechanic, none of it feels quite so precise or fine-tuned. The challenges are definitely well built around this mechanic, but I felt like Having to play through King of Cards was the first time with one of these Shovel Knight campaigns in which I really had to force myself to just sit down and play it, rather than being hugely invested in the campaign. I don't mean to be a downer, I don't know if it's me and something that I'm missing, it just feels like it's missing something special, in my opinion. I don't know how to better phrase it than that, and I feel really bad saying it because I can tell a lot of love and care was put into this campaign. It's not all bad though. A lot of the lore and story elements are fantastic in this campaign. When 
King Knight sets out on his quest on his own to become Joustus Champion. He basically is given an origin story of how he became the Keeper of Pride More Keep. He also assembles a great crew of a weird, wacky cast of characters that are all hilarious to talk with. Something that feels like it really halts the flow of gameplay is one of this campaign's brand new additions, and that is, of course, Joustus. So Joustus is a card game built into the story of King of Cards. That's where, of course, the name King of Cards comes from. So many characters that you meet throughout the campaign will want to sit down and play Joustus with you. And while it seems fun enough when you first start to play, some of these guys get really intense. The whole point of Joustus is to basically make sure that your card ends up on the gem tiles and you have to achieve that by pushing other cards around the board to make sure your card ends up there. When I first started playing I had a really hard time with Joustus and I think it's because I was approaching it as a card game. I'm generally just not that good at card games. I sort of had a shift of my mindset when I started trying to think of it as a puzzle, like a sliding block puzzle you might find in Zelda. But because it's not just me sliding these tiles around, you have an opponent sliding their own cards around the tiles too. And because you're drawing from a deck of cards that may or may not be actually good depending on what you have in your deck, a lot of this came down to me feeling like it was based on luck rather than actual strategy or skill. There were times where I knew that I had good cards in my deck but wouldn't draw them and would be left with no valid moves and would have to forfeit the game and restart. Losing a game or losing even a mini game through no fault of my own really aggravates me. I don't want to have to rely on the luck of the draw to make sure I get the right cards for the scenario. When I know that I've got the right tools at my disposal, I should be able to rely on my skill to be able to complete the challenges. But I would spend hours playing Joustus trying to beat some characters, and it was honestly aggravating. I will say that because it was so challenging for me, that it was a rush to beat those Joustus challenges, but I honestly would have rather just not had to deal with it entirely. Overall though, I hate to be a downer on King of Cards, I think it's a quality piece of content and I think it does still have a lot to offer, but for me it's just not hitting the right mark and I don't know if that's a problem with the game or a problem with me or my mindset, but either way I can tell a lot of love and care was put into it. I just am not feeling it this time.